glad to be back again here with you, Roberto. And as I said in, in our in our conversations, um, I love the fact that you talk about what matters. And I've seen throughout um, my life, my career, that um, people who care matter, which is why we trademark the term leaders who care. And um, and influencers come in all sorts of sizes and shapes, sometimes for a minute, sometimes for a lifetime, and they matter also to, to us. And in addition to that, it's something we have to remember that we're always influencing people and it's our choice. Is that gonna be positive influence or is it gonna be negative influence that we, that we put out there? So with all that said, as a, as a preface, if you will, can you share with us your thoughts on influencers and, and any people or peoples or groups that have been influential in your life? Sure. I mean, there are two different types of influencers. Uh, there are the moment, uh, momentary influencers, and then there are the eternal ones. Right. So uh, what I would like to kind of stick with are the people that have done the same thing for a very long time. And then... Uh, you can think about Aristotle and Seneca and uh, a few other greats uh, 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 from the past. I mean, their philosophy uh, has certainly influenced the world. Marcus Aurelius, uh, um, uh, he wrote a, uh, a uh, uh, he had a uh, Epictetus. He was a slave, and Marcus Aurelius basically um, um, released him from slavery, and uh, he became a teacher, and he wrote a book called uh, Meditations. Uh, uh, so those are the early influencers. Uh, they're about 2,000 some years old. Uh, most recently, there are some extraordinary women, uh, women in, uh, that I consider them to be just remarkable. Uh, Sylvia Earle, for example, she takes care of the oceans and uh, mm -hmm. she's the goddess of the oceans. Uh, then Jane Goodall, you know, she uh, uh, certainly taught us all that, uh, um, um, you know, you can actually um, be part of something yeah. and uh, uh, love something with, uh, with your full heart. So I was lucky to meet both of them and to share some moments with, with them. Um, there's, of course, a few different great photographers uh, that have influenced me. Uh, Peter Lindbergh, uh, he has always been an extraordinary uh, um, individual uh, whose black and white photography uh, has always been remarkable. Uh, Helmut Newton, uh, his uh, sensual, sexual, uh, awesome photography stirred up a lot of uh, uh, conversations and yeah. uh, and then uh, most recently uh, even though i have not met them yet uh, i think that uh, elon musk is a, it's an extraordinary individual his vision of the planet uh, is extreme he's precise determined uh, focused uh, hard working and uh, without a doubt uh, knows something that uh, Many of us do not, yeah. and uh, not only that, but he is actually um, putting all his energy and his resources into it, into his be belief system. And uh, I mean, that's what who I like to actually spend some time with and meet next. And that will be a single individual who is attempting to shift our course. And I go back to who we are as. Uh, as humans on this planet and maybe other planets. In the meantime, I go back to the same thing that you have to kind of take care of the planet that, that you have while keeping uh, an eye on other planets that you might be on into the future. These are just a few people. And of course you have uh, the rest of the many who, who are just, uh, they've been around for, 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 for many years and will actually continue uh, to be there. I personally think that uh, philosophy and philosophers of the past and poets of the past and artists of the past are the ones that actually can show us how to look at things with different eyes. And those are my influencers uh, that I look at, flip through uh, or read about. And 
uh, those are the people that I kind of uh, go by uh, what, uh, while I do what I do and uh, while looking forward to my next step, you know. Um, yeah. No, I think that's great. And, uh, and do you feel with your work and your mindset and your purpose that you're an influencer as well? Uh, what I would like to think is that that my work has shifted slightly the way we look at wilderness, the way we look at wild horses, the way we feel about wilderness and the way we feel about wild horses, and the way we love wilderness and the way we love wild horses. So I think that that's the reason of existence for artists. And I don't know if I'm an influencer or not. I've certainly seen enough people being, as I call it, moved, touched, and inspired by the images. Uh, I'm just a conduit in, uh, in between these wild horses and those people that admire them. I mean, that's kind of what it is. So uh, I would like to think that I'm a conduit more than, a, than an influencer. No, that's great. So I think we uh, we all need to be at least a little bit wild, if not a lot more wild. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, of course. My pleasure.